All right, I figured I'd do a quick video to show you how I'm mounting my service on the building here for the electrical. So I've got some strut, unistrut that I put up. I'm gonna drill this out. It's gonna be a two inch pipe going inside. for 200 amp service. I've got a 10 foot stick, a two inch rigid pipe. That's gonna go up and through the soffit there. Oh, there's my meter socket sitting here on the ground. And what I did on the inside of this building um, is I found a two by 12 and I screwed that with a few screws from the outside in that are gonna be behind the meter socket just to hold it, um, hold this piece of wood. And then um, that way I got something to screw into that's a little thicker than just the tin um, for the, uh, the Unistrut um, pieces that I'm gonna put up top to support the pipe and the meter socket. So I've insulated around it. Um, and now I'm gonna throw a sheet of three quarter plywood. I've got some surplus stuff here from work. It's free, it's for me. So uh, what I had to do is shim that out a little bit more so that the plywood will sit flush against there. And once the plywood is on, I'm using three quarter. So I'm, once the plywood's on there, I'll screw it to this and that'll really stiffen it up. Um, the rest of the building, I'm gonna do a little differently, but this one spot here, just to keep this rolling and get this done, uh, that's how I'm gonna do it. All right, so I got my meter socket all mounted up. Some uh, spring nuts that are all bolted in. I ran my nipple through the building here. Plywood's on the wall. And I mounted the panel right up. My nipple coming through for the feed. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll bring the feeds up and around. And then so now I gotta do my mast here. Unfortunately, I do not have a dot level to mark this thing, so I'm going to have to use a plumb bob or something. All right, so I've got my uh, meter socket and my mast up. All the wires run. All the wires landed in here. I've got my nipple going out the back into the panel. Slap the cover on this thing. There, that's buttoned up. Now, here's the panel mounted inside. There's the nipple coming through. There's my ground coming up. I put a little trough in here to catch all that stuff. I'm gonna run a two inch pipe from here up into here. Um, and that way I can run all my circuits down there. It just makes it look a little nicer. Um, but yeah, I will show you some more in a minute. All right, so I got my electrical uh, panel all installed here. Service is all set. Inspector was here today, passed me. So this is just the basics, just to get it to pass so that I can get the power on. I haven't wired the rest of the building, obviously. There's the outside here. Meter socket, got my mask going up. Wires all set, ready to rock and roll up there. And uh, so yeah, hopefully we'll have some power on here pretty soon. But that's it. Now, if you're installing one of these, um, buildings and you need an electrical service on it. Depending on the state you're in, you're going to need a, um, a licensed professional to do it for you. I'm, I'm a master electrician, so I have my license for this. I pulled a permit. Um, I cleared everything with Eversource. So, but this is just how I installed it. Um, I figured it might help somebody out seeing how, 
how I put it on the building itself. Um, so I will uh, post some more videos as I keep going on this project. Um, got a lot of work to do still, getting it insulated and uh, um, getting some plywood on the walls. Get some real lighting up there other than my temporary lighting. And uh, there's my 53 Ford here. This is going to be her her bedroom. Anyway, I'll post some more as I keep going. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And see you guys soon.